feels stabilized. Entaro Adun. Hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Circa Prudor Remastered. Today it's going to be Stork and Royal here on Shakura's Temple. Top left, it's going to be Stork. You know this guy. Nope, bottom left, it's Stork. And top left, it is Royal. Playing under a barcode, but there is a program that can figure out who barcode players are. RJB uses it to know who the barcode players are and sends me replays saying this is Royal. It's not a barcode. Well, it is a barcode, but it is Royal. I figured we uh, I don't know. I figured we would cast a TVP featuring Royal. We know he is excellent at TVZ, but... How good is he at TVP? He won an ASL, so maybe that answers my question. <laughs> ah, all right, Shakura's Temple, kind of a fun map, right? Bump, bump, bump. We're looking at a 12 o'clock, we're looking at a six o'clock here. Got all sorts of gas on all sorts of these bases. No minerals, only expansions at all. We got our little 2020 minerals in the middle. That's when this map was made. Got some high ground to deal with. Some wide ramps to try to get your way up. Try to defend. Try to attack. It's a fine map. I think it is. Bum-bum. bum Hope you're all having a fantastic time wherever you are. I'm having a good time because I'm casting StarCraft. That's one of the reasons I do this, y'all. Like, do I have bad days? I sure do. But then I sit down and I cast some StarCraft and it's so fun. And it's just so nostalgic and entertaining and impressive what these players are doing that it just puts me in a better mood. It helps. I don't know what to tell you. It's the power of StarCraft, man. Steve the SCB heading out. Steve the SCB merch available at falconpaladin.store. One gate expand from Stork. Not going Cybercore expand. He's betting that the Terran's not going to find him soon enough to punish this. I mean, it's not as crazy as a Nexus first. It's just a little bit more risky. Because if we get a quick factory here out of Royal, this can really be vultures inside your base before you have Dragoon's time. And that's a pretty bad time. Nobody likes that time. Factory on the way. Okay. This is Scan. Uh, this isn't even necessarily Scan being aggressive. This is Scan being like, you know it's a bad time for Terran? When Dragoons show up and you don't have any tanks or spider mines or anything to deal with them. So, I mean, in fairness, a bunker with Marines will hold them off long enough. But, yeah. This is Scan being like, oh, fast expand, you say. Cybercore not done, you say. All right, all right. Maybe I'll run down here, build a bunker. Oh, uh, Robert the Zealot heading up, though. Shirts and mugs from him available. Falconpaladin.store. Why would you stop? He doesn't know what's up here. Okay, well, the Zealot's actually buying time for the Cybernetics Core to finish and for the Dragoons to be produced. Loving that from him. Man. Pretty good. I mean, you got to cut a couple of workers to make that happen, but... I think it's totally worth it here for this faster expand. Is he pulling? He is pulling the boys! Oh, we've seen this before. I think we saw somebody try to do this to Bisu. And by golly, it was amazing. So, uh, I don't I don't think Stork knows this is coming. I don't know what he would do, honestly. But here come the boys. Here comes the SCV train. Let the pain begin. Now Stork knows. Stork's like, wait, what? What is happening? There's a Dragoon out. Marines, there's a Vulture in the mix here. Pull back. Our goal, gentlemen, is to kill this Nexus. Anything else we do is totally gravy. Okay, Vulture just getting three hits on these Zealots. is exactly what he wants to do. He's got two kills, two Zealots there. SCVs, pretty good fighters against Dragoons, it turns out. And, ah, uh, got some, uh, he didn't shoot the vulture at all. Never mind. Are we going to build a bunker? He's trying to, oh, man. It's the old build a bunker on the top of the ramp shenanigan play. No, SCV building the bunker. Target fired. More Marines joining this party. Bunker gets canceled. The Nexus isn't dead. Probes are dying, but that's okay because SCVs are dying here too. 
Man. Another Dragoon dead. Bunker being built out here. It's like, okay, maybe I can't get the kill here. But let me kill this second base. Let me kill this Nexus and really punish this Protoss for getting this Nexus out this quickly. Oh, focus the SCV. You don't want this bunker up. Okay, well, you got the bunker up. Okay, well, I mean, this... <laughs> A little more aggressive, a little bit sloppier than just dealing with a Nexus first, but Royal can deal with a Gate Nexus opening, no problem. Singularity Charge is almost done, but it's not in time to save this Nexus. I'm sorry, it gets target fired. Dragoons, yeah, sure, they're firing on this bunker, but guess what? Guess what? It's gone, and that's it. I don't think you need to stay here anymore. He's expanding behind this. It's 24 to 21 workers in favor of the pro- Look at this! He's just t changed the arena of engagement to, like, right here where the bunker would normally be to inside the natural base. Oh, buying time for spider mines to get laid and block the building of a new nexus. Royal, why you must bully this Protoss player so hard? Wh how far are we from detection? Uh, not too far. Observatories don't take that long to build. Here you go, bunker dead, marines head out, some spider mines to cover their retreat. Oh, he knows. He knows about okay, so he's just gonna trigger the spider mines with his dragoon body. Try not to lose any of them. Can you can you get a Nexus up here without being blocked by that spider mine? I don't know, but this is a problem. The natural base of the Terran is done. Oh, I missed it. Spider mines got triggered by the dragoons and maybe got a hit off. I don't think it really matters. Didn't kill any Dragoons because there's no uh, blood on the ground. Ooh, support bay on one base. We're going to see some Reavers from Stork on the follow-up. <laughs> that opening. That's exactly what that was against Bisu in that game. The opening might have been Royal. Maybe that's just Royal's favorite thing to do. If the Protoss gets a little greedy, he pulls the boys, tries to get a bunker set up on the high ground inside the Protoss base. Just so cheeky. So that's a cheeky, cheeky play. I love it. He's able to kill the second base while getting his own second base up. That's a win. That's a beautiful win. It's 32 to 26 workers in favor of the Terran. Stork is in trouble. In huge amounts of trouble here. Spider mines out. Siege tanks have siege mode. The time of the Dragoon harass is over. It's got to be a quick third base here from Stork or killing the natural base. Of Royal. I don't see what other options Stork has here if he wants to win this game. This is a non-tenable economic situation. Absolutely untenable. Well, he's like, I'm going to send the Dragoons up. Uh, oh, you already have Reavers, huh? One of the Vultures eats it right in the face. Ooh, that Scarab actually hit. I didn't think it would. Huh. Siege Tank says, get out of here. You're not killing my bunker. Get, skedaddle. Throwing up a safety bunker just in case it's necessary, but this isn't like 10 Dragoons. This is five, six. I know how to count. I do. I graduated from kindergarten just like everyone else. Sure did. Caron boosters on the way. I just, I'm looking for a third base for this Protoss and I do not see one and I am so concerned. I am insanely concerned right now. Hobbs gets sniped. Caron boosters is because he knows that this is happening. He knows the shuttle. Oh gosh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, sure, unload here. All right. Zealot eats, a, it, Zealot eats a tank shot. That's exactly what you want to do. But now there's nothing to eat. Oh, there is another Zealot in there. Okay. Zealot eating tank shots. Dodging tank shots with the sick pickup micro. And then getting out of there. Once he doesn't have anything else in here to absorb the shots, he's like, okay, pull back. Regroup with these Dragoons. Starport on the way. Oh, 
double shuttle heading right into the main base. All right, trying to kill shuttles, but guess what's on the ground? It's even scarier. Get out of there. Pull the SCVs. Don't take a huge, don't take a huge, oh, a huge scarab shot there. Tank gets killed as well. We're not done yet. We're still here. We're picking off more SCVs, the ones on the gas. Oh, SCVs going, they got to get back to work. Okay, so this, this is what Stork needed to do to get back into this game. Oh, stupid Scarab gets caught up on this machine shop and does nothing. Every Protoss player is like, Scarabs, why you suck so bad? Third base, warp and go. All right, all right. So, I don't know. I feel like it could have been a little bit faster on this third base, but he did kill a bunch of SCVs. He killed some tanks. And isn't the point of this early game to be killing tanks? I'm going to shuttle some Dragoons up here. I'll try. Oh, all right. We're going to do it. So killing Goliath is nice. It keeps your shuttles alive. And then it distracts from your tank getting killed by a Reaver. Oh, oh, not the best pickup micro there, unfortunately, from Stork. You can't win them all. But 49 to 46 workers is a much better place for Stork to be than he was about three or four minutes ago. Repairing this supply depot just because, you know, wouldn't supply block him, but it would not be helpful either. Okay, third base warping in about 12 minutes. Not where you want it to be, but if your opponent pulled the boys in the first two minutes, you can probably get away with a third at 11.50. Other oh, OBS trying to see what's going on. Where's this third base from our guy Royal? I'm feeling like a lack of a third base. Maybe it's a two baser. It's getting drop ships. Oh, yeah. I think this is something at this point, Stork has to be... Nope. Command Center started. Okay. So right on the edge of where I feel like a third base should have started here. Royal's got one coming up. Going to land it right over to the right side across this wall. Pretty easy to defend with some tanks behind this choke. Not a bad map for Terran, honestly. Spider mining up available bases to be in. A dropship coming down this left side. It's an empty dropship ship. Fake out? What? But what's the other thing? Guys don't have speed yet, and it's so funny. These little grandma vultures puttering around. I guess that guy's just scouting drops? No, she's... Ah, she's going to meet up with the vultures. Pick up, unload. Oh, guess who's got a cannon warping inside the main mineral line right now? That's right. Stork was just ready for this. I mean, a couple probes are going to die. Ooh, a nice round of DTs just got made, too. All right, 65 to 50 wound workers is nice in favor of Royal. Killing a bunch of probes there during that attack. Very cathartic. If that cannon wasn't there, it'd be so much worse. Protoss players, get cannons in your mineral lines. Just somewhere, somewhere near one of your nexuses. Ooh, a little bit of storm on the way. Looks like we're going to try to defeat the mech of a royal with the storm as the main component. I mean, the main component is dragoons and zealots. But then the third main component is storm. It could be arbiters with stasis. It could be going carriers as the third main component. We'll see what we get. Scanning up. I don't know what that scan was. Nice. Oh, it's so beautiful. Beautiful reaver play is just... There's nothing else like it in StarCraft. It's so hard to kill tanks with reavers. You really have to be super aware. Super, super slick with your micro. It's a DT drop. But well, guess what? You kill two turrets, there's another one here. So, And there are scans. So the DTs are dead. Where did our guys go? Here they are. That was fun. Give that a fun rating. All right, but look, it's three base to three base. Sure, this th third base was easier from Stork, earlier from Stork, and a little bit easier too. Look at these reverse high grounding it. I just... Mm. 
It's just so hard to do. Every Protoss player is like, man, if I could do this, I could win against Terran so much more often. But then if you just listen to Artosis, all you gotta do is put your units in an arc and just sit there, right? Fourth base, warping in from Stork, 15 minutes. This is not insanely fast expansion timing, but the way this game started, it's okay by me. 137 to 151 supply. Stork has a bigger army. But the tank count is looking pretty hefty. Plus two attack on those guys. Gateway units at plus one attack. No armor. No shields. Ah, he's engaging. All right, man. Trading out for tanks here. Reavers. Getting shots off. Nice, beautiful, beautiful blue storms. Weakening this stuff up. Zealots trying to get through those lines is... Oh, my gosh. Every tank here dies. Almost every Dragoon died. But like I said, it's about the trades. Oh, I'm killing this third base. I don't know if we're killing this third base. Oh, <laughs> but two tanks for the price of one. Three tanks for this Reaver. He's going to die, but yo... Yo, 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 yo. What a play. Third base doesn't die, but that tank count got way sent back. Send them back. Push them back. Way back. Fourth base is done, though. Another scan. And here this time. There we go. Figured out where this scan was. I don't know what happened in that last one. Probe transfer has an escort, but... Dangerous place to transport probes. You're going to lose some friends anyway. There is still a dropship back here. And I just think, like, bringing a tank down with, like, seven vultures would be awesome. But at the same time, defending your third base is a big deal. And you don't have a lot of tanks left over after that last engagement went kind of poorly for you. As Royale. This is another RJB replay. Check them out. YouTube.com slash RJB underscore TV. Slash at RJB underscore TV. As that's how the YouTube URLs work now. Check them out if you like StarCraft. And you probably do because you're here. Oof, big spider mine hit. 60 to 57 workers. Stork's done a good job replenishing his worker count. After all the probe deaths in this game. Gonna try to sneak a bit of a storm drop up here. SCB's running. Oh, nice juke, but juking back into another storm. Oh. Oh. Okay, so beautiful storm drop from Stork. Can't ask for more than that. Dragoon, Dragoons clearing out Spider Mine's left side. I'm trying to think. What's the last PVTs of Terran? I don't know. I feel like we've had Terran wins and Protoss wins in the last couple of PVTs that I've cast, the last five or six, so. You never know. You never know who's going to win a game that Falcon casts. I don't watch him before I cast him either. That's what RJB is for. He sent me this replay. He only sends me the best of the best of his giant stack of tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of replays now that he has access to by generating contacts in the StarCraft scene. He's a great, passionate StarCraft supporter and caster. Check him out. The link in the description. Fourth base coming up 12 o'clock. Uh, I'm also here six times a week with StarCraft Brood War content. So, I mean, if you like Brood War, you're here. Might as well hit that subscribe button and hit the like button too because it helps the algorithm know that I'm here. Okay. So now Stork kind of catching fire. Building all along this bottom side. One, two, three, four, five. Well, almost five bases, but there's a, there's a spider mine in the way. Observer perfectly seeing this base is coming up and when always good information to have EMP is getting researched working on observer movement speed not the most important upgrade but hey we're at 20 minutes might as well start getting the less important upgrades Kidder and Amulet's a really good upgrade it gives you three storms with a full HP high Templar and that is invaluable invaluable three storms Woo. I mean, you're not really one-shotting anything here with a storm, but, you know, two storms will kill a tank. Two storms will kill a Goliath. Three storms means you can cast another storm after killing a tank or a Goliath. What more could you possibly want? 
Kadiran Amulet, now available at stores near you. But um, store heading up. All right, Spider Mine field up. Siege tanks here. Uh, more tanks. Bring them down. This is a committed attack coming in. Is there enough Terran to hold on? That last time it really went to the Protoss. The time this attempt is. Yeah, Storms, there you go. Storms really helping here. D Matrix up on a couple of these tanks, buying a few extra seconds. But the storms are hot and heavy. More, again, just more and more tanks dying here. Stork has had some really solid engagements today. But what else do we expect from this guy? He's a total monster in Protoss. Another tank down. Nothing in this bunker to be scary about. High Templar casually has three kills. Another tank down. I preach this all the time. Ah, the back mouse. How do you defeat an elite Terran player? You kill their tanks and you out expand them. Has this game got its. Did it start normally? No. Has Stork done a good job following those principles when he could? Yes. Spider Mines. Oh, Zealots found these tanks. Just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. That's weird. They're gonna, oh man, this is really bad. Reinforcing tanks, I guess, shuttled in. Okay, vultures did their jobs. Fifth base coming up left side here, two at the nine o'clock for a Royal. One, two, three, four, five bases. Look at me counting again. attack. Really the first one since that early pull the boys attack. Let's see if Royal can set up here and really get some pressure on. You'll notice the gate weighs up in the bottom right. Summer home stuff as usual. There you go. Forcing the tanks to siege up this far away from your home is a win if you're Stork. Cannot get much greedy or like you want something else? Too greedy, I'm sorry. Ah, Spider Mine here. Putting in dividends, man. Just delaying your opponent's expansion by. I don't know how long it takes to warp in a cannon. Is pretty worth it. Counterattack! Stork says, well, what if I don't meet you there and instead. Head up towards your third base. You're gonna like that very much? Uh, I mean, fourth base, sorry. No, I'm going to chase you back, says Royal. Tanks aren't great at chasing. But I guess if you stop running, they're pretty good. Ah, scrappy, scrappy. Ooh, your zealots eating a lot of storm damage there was not great. But every other storm <laughs> has pretty much been worth it. Oh, these guys made it up here. Uh, okay, so some of them went up to the fourth base and forced it a liftoff anyway. Forced it? Come on. Forced a liftoff. What a bloodbath. More High Templar, more Dragoons, more Vultures, more vehicle plating upgrades. Yeah, I'm going to be 3-3 three, three Siege Tanks here at 23 minutes. Not every Terran player has 3-3 three, three at 24 minutes. Dragoons at 3-2. Not really working on further upgrades. Understandable, really, any time. A Protoss doesn't bother getting armor upgrades at all against a Terran. It kind of makes sense. Siege tanks don't, just don't care much about the fact that, oh, congratulations, you have three armor against my 85 attack, right? You negated three of the damage from the 85. Congratulations. You're still going to die. Oh, that op slides right into multiple missile turrets. Speed did not save you there. That is the thing about speed, is you can fly into missile turret range and get out more quickly, which could save your butt. But if you fly into range of another missile turret, no... No, not going to happen. Let's 
This is tough. 192 to 153 supply. Although, I don't know. I guess that told me a story, right? Storm. Left side, 9 o'clock. No kills on that High Templar, but I bet this Archon would have kills if it ever is going to come out, and it's not, so never mind. 48 to 57 workers trying to engage, but ugh, 195 to 151 is not where you want to be as a Protoss. He's been expanding, but quickly enough? I don't think so. <laughs> Spider Mine's killing a single Dragoon at 25 minutes. It's just, I don't know, it's just funny to me. You're not dying in giant groups, right? Like Dragoons often are at this stage of the game. You just died to a single Spider Mine. Not good. Not good at all. This is just so much Terran with 3 3 upgrades. It's just, is, is this another game where I say you should have gotten uh, Stasis? I just feel like Stasis has a much higher win rate. Nice Zealot drops left side, but this right side... Uh-uh. Oh, gosh. These High Templar are left alive. Temp okay, never mind. They're dead. They're totally dead. Those Zealots, I think, kind of got forgotten. But, hey, a couple tanks died over here, so maybe good trades? Question mark? All right. Terran Rampage is on. Ooh, a ghost on the... What? A ghost on the way. For what, though? I am distracted by the presence of the ghost. Please hold. Any nuke silos? No. It's 9 o'clock base beset by zealots. Huge engagement. Uh-uh. No. Not enough. Not Okay. Not enough Protoss. Not enough Protoss. Not enough Protoss. These two newest bases for Stork are going down. And yeah, spider mines across the width of the map, down on Stork's side, mind you. This is just tough. I don't think Stork's winning this thing. I think Royal, the macro. It's mostly a macro win, I'm gonna say. Just cause like micro with mech is not particularly Important. I don't know. I'm talking out of my butt here, but. Okay, Nexus. Killing this Nexus would be super good. He's like, nah, let's kill this one. There's only there's no mineral patches there. But it's more lightly defended. Speaking of which, undefended siege tank dies. Uh, this this base is more important. Okay, fine. Easier to kill compared to this one that has literal gateways in it. This one doesn't have gateways in it. Stork trying to pick around the edges of this mech monstrosity, trying to find what little bits of damage he can, but it's that's just not... It's not something that is working out all that well for our guy. It's another ghost. Do we have lockdown or something? Why are you making more ghosts? Okay, Nexus is dead. Probes could maybe try to kill some of these tanks, but... No, they're all just gonna die instead. Oh, this one especially, very close. One HP on that guy. Oh, just little engagements everywhere, huh? Little engagements everywhere. Scans in, sees, ooh, Dragoons are heading over this way, huh? Well, let's, let's crush them as well. Let's see where this High Templar is going. He has enough energy for a storm. He's going this guy? Hello? I don't know where he's going. But the natural base is dying. Both forges going down for the Protoss player down 168 to 79 supply. He's just lost a bunch of battles over the last five minutes. And overcoming that is just tough. And that's your GG. And I don't know where those High Templar were going, but that's a GG. Where? What was he planning on doing with these ghosts? Wait, are you st don't stick around, Royal. Come on, man. That's not cool. Okay, I'm gonna real quick rewind this. Hit that like button, though. Hit that subscribe. It's a GG for Royal. Sorry, I was so distracted. I didn't call the GG for your Terran, Terran favorite here, man.
Okay, it... Oh, he was... Res okay, okay, that's all I needed to know. He did... Wait, hang on. Did he finish researching lockdown? Yes. It's doing that thing again, where the production tab is just being, like, glitchy. Sure. We'll say he got locked down. How very cool. Huh. So he was like, I don't know, just in case, like, two carriers come out, I'll just lock them down and we'll be fine. Amazing. Okay, well, GG. I mean, that came. Uh, can we blame that on the greedy opening from Stork that got punished? Because it did. It got punished. He lost his nexus. The natural base of the Terran was almost done. He was down a base for the early stages of that game. But I do feel like Stork got himself back into it. A couple of the engagements up here. He really crushed that Terran army. Wiped out a ton of siege tanks. Reset that tank count as necessary. Did it a bunch. Killed a bunch of SCVs too. Some good storm drops. The Reaver stuff was really good. But I just wonder if it was too much to overcome... Just the absolutely devastating opening that Royal saw an opening. Yeah, saw an opening in the opening. Took it down. All right, GG, man. 205,000 points to 226,000 points in favor of Royal. Royal out producing Stork 596 to 384. And then Stork out killing the Terran player, but not by nearly as much as he was out produced. 17 to 11 buildings raised in favor of Royal. And 65,000 resources spent to 60,000 in favor of Stork. He did the right thing. He's got enough. He's got enough resources. Um, well, more resources. But 5,000? 5, 5,500 over 29 minutes is just not not enough. You want to get into the 7, 8, 9, 10,000 resources if you're going to beat a Terran player because of the cost efficiency. There we go. All right. So, GG, well done, Royal. You know why he won an ASL. Games like this. <laughs> but cool. That's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.